He's very smart. Okay. Now, tell him to get something in the ER. The bone. The bone. Okay. I have to say it nice and clear because he's a little hard of hearing like you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go get the bone. Go get the bone. Go get the bone. Oh, oh <laughs> Not the phone. Not the phone. The bone. I told you he was hard of hearing. This is classic Dick Wolsey entertaining what? visitors <laughs> even at his home with his current beagle Toby engaging in a wacky comedy bit. Dick's brand of humor has served him for well over two decades, most of which he spent as a live feature reporter on Wish TV. He's also a celebrated book author, writes a column for several newspapers, and he even blogs now. But for all his talents and achievements, perhaps the one thing Dick is most closely associated with is his connection to a former cohort, his other beagle, Barney. And this is my friend Barney the Beagle, and you know, we go exciting places every morning. For nearly 12 years, Barney was a staple of weekday morning TV segments with Dick. The sharing of the limelight just happened, and it worked. I started taking him with me, and then all of a sudden people started calling and saying, that's a great dog, and that's a terrific dog, and you should bring him away. I used to keep him in the car, obviously. And then I would be doing my segment, and you'd hear, oh! And people, what is that? What's he doing in his car? So um, I started bringing him on the show. With me is Dr. Gary Sampson, who is a uh, veterinarian and a dog behaviorist. And we've been talking the last couple of minutes about uh, how to stop this destructive behavior. When Barney was on the show, I always complained that he was troublesome. And Dr. Sampson called and said, you know, I can cure him of, of this. Can we see this over here? Look, look at this over here. You got to look at it. Right. <laughs> Elimination, doing what he does best. And uh, while Dr. Right. Sampson is talking about how to stop a dog from digging, he dug up the entire front yard. The, and the mud is all over the doctor, all over the doctor. And, th and then, this is the great part of the story. He said, well, he said, um, he, said uh, he obviously likes to dig. And I said, yeah, he does. And Dr. Sampson said, he said, well, I said, let's take a break. A commercial break, and when we come back, we'll talk about his chewing problem. Well, we never came back because he chewed the cable of the microphone. He chewed it in half, right? So we never, we had to change cable, we never came back on, we missed the segment. Incredibly, the end of Barney's days came at the end of a showbiz day. A true trooper he gave to his audiences up until the day of his death in 2002. That night, um, uh, I had a friend take him home. And uh, she took him home, and uh, he was fine. And then he went upstairs, and my wife called me on the phone, and she said that when she came in the room, he was gone, which, I mean, uh, what's great about that story is it really is true that he, he was no suffering. We didn't have to put him down. He sort of knew how to die. Isn't that cool? And that, you know, most, most people don't have that. But he was ready to go. And the last day of his life, I always felt guilty that I took him to the fair on a hot day. But you know something? As my... That's what, he, well, what a, a great way to go. Isn't that, that he died the day he is having fun like he always did? Yeah, well, we're not talking about you. Sorry, <laughs> we're not talking about you. Yeah. That is, yeah. I teared up, sorry. Yeah, I know, it is, it's, it is such a great story. I mean, he, he, he just, he died the right way. Toby is a wonderful, good-hearted beagle who is loved by Dick and his family, but since the demands of TV change, Toby is not a part of Dick's morning weekend segments now. There were times where Barney would be in the studio and he would jump up and sit next to Dave Barris on, on the set, uh -huh. on the set. Uh -huh. Now, we can't do that anymore, no. and that's fine. I, I'm, I'm down with that, as they say. I understand how news has changed, but that, I mean, just can you imagine people said, oh my gosh, the dog would just sit there, and Dave would read the news, and the dog was just kind of <laughs> sitting there, and he, you know, and you just can't do that stuff well, anymore. But, yeah. the, you know, that's the way that it is. is. This was a special part of Daybreak that will not happen again, but Dick and Barney's special moments live on in our fond memories. It was magic. Mm -hmm.